In this tutorial, we are going to learn about basic search strategies to use in scholarly journal searches. We will also discuss the differences between regular search engines like Google and Yahoo versus scholarly databases such as Google Scholar or PsycInfo. Library databases are different than other search engines like Google. You may think of a library database as a highly specialized search engine that will only bring you results from published, copyrighted sources such as scholarly journals. Using library databases requires specialized search techniques. When used to their full potential, they will give you better results. Information is a commercial enterprise. The information in our databases are valuable and therefore access to those databases can be quite expensive. Our campus subscription to PsycInfo is $36,000 a year and the Web of Science is $125,000. When you are enrolled at Purdue, you have access to these databases and hundreds more for free thanks to Purdue Libraries. Knowing basic search strategies will go a long way to get you more accurate, relevant results. These strategies will work with all of the library databases, Google Scholar, and even in Google. Not all databases are made by the same company, so they do not all use the same search techniques. However, they do all have thorough help sections with information on search techniques for that particular database. Both ERIC and PsycInfo come from EBSCO, so they can be searched in the same way. Your goal in searching a scholarly database is not to find the smallest number or even the greatest number of results. It is to find the greatest number of relevant results while also finding the smallest number of irrelevant results. Using these basic strategies will help you achieve that goal. Please go to part two of this tutorial to learn about our first basic search strategy.